Now, what do they look like? All right. Allah tells us they do have wings, not those two little weak uh, feathery wings that you see. They do have wings. Uli ajniha, masna wa thulatha wa ruba'a. Some of them have two wings, some of them have three wings, some of them have four wings. Yazidu fil khalqi ma yasha. And Allah increases them as He wills. Now, that automatically tells us that they're of different sizes. But what would an average angel look like? Just an average malak. All right. To give you an idea of just an average angel, uh, Safwan ibn Sulaym radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he narrates that ma salla ahad, no one enters into his salah. This is just you praying in your room, thinking that no one's around you, thinking that you're all alone. إِلَّا صَلَّى وَرَاءَهُ مِنَ الْمَلَائِكَةِ أَمْثَالُ الْجِبَارِ Except that there are angels the size of mountains that are praying there with you. You think you're in your room all by yourself. You've got angels, creatures the size of mountains that are there praying with you, that are there glorifying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with you. All right, what about an angel that has a bigger task then? An angel that, that, you know, that belongs to a more elite group of angels. How about Hamalat al-Arsh, the bearers of the throne, right? We mentioned them in our supplications. Allahumma inni asbahtu ushiduk wa ushidu Hamalat al-Arshik. You know, we, we call them to bear witness at times. Allah praises this group of angels. What do they look like? The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he says, I've been given permission to tell you about just one of those angels. One of the angels who bears the throne of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He said, إِنَّمَا بَيْنَ الشَّحْمَةِ أُذُنِهِ إِلَىٰ عَاتِقِهِ مَسِيرَةُ سَبْعِمِئَةِ عَامِ He said, the distance between his earlobe and his shoulder is a journey of 700 years. That's just from here to here. And the narration of Ibn Khuzaymah, the Prophet ﷺ said, a bird could fly that journey in 700 years. So it's not just you walking and taking breaks. If a bird just was flying continuously for 700 years, he'd only make it from here to here on one of those angels. So how do we even determine who's a bigger angel and who's a smaller angel? And what does this have to do with Jibreel alayhi salam? Al Imam al Suyuti rahimahullah says, the greater the task the angel has been given, the greater the size of the angel. So that tells you right away that Jibreel alayhi salam is even bigger than that. He's the biggest of the angels and the greatest in size because he has the greatest of tasks. 